every time I make a smoothie, I swear it's the best thing I've ever tasted. So good. But welcome back to my channel, guys. Today is a very chilly, chilly day in the jungle. And I've been kind of neglecting my plants all week because I've been working. Today, I wanted to go around and show you some of the things that I do weekly, mostly on Saturdays now, to keep my plants alive and thriving. Because as nice as plants are to look at, they can be a lot to take care of. I do try to do some plant care here and there throughout the week while I am working, since I do work from home. But sometimes it's hard to split my mind in two places. So today, after a long work week, I really wanted to go around and see what plants need what. I can tell some of them are looking a little on the dry side. Just a lot going on in the jungle lately. And I really wanted to take today to get my plant shit together, essentially. Let's get into it. It's neon guava. <laughs> okay, so I went and grabbed my little plant cart that I have all my supplies on because I wanted to update you guys on my Calathea orbifolia. She definitely lost quite a few leaves since you last saw her because, like I said, she had gotten thrip, which I told you guys about in a few videos ago, and I was treating it with alcohol soap, like Dawn dish soap, along with some insecticidal soap, and I don't think I see thrips anymore. Thrip are really hard to get rid of. I told you guys about that bonsai I had. I'll insert a picture here. I had no idea those were even thrips at the time. But for that plant, I literally submerged it in alcohol and nothing worked. So I kind of had no hope when I discovered that my Calathea orbifolia had thrip. But I happened to be reading a Reddit thread. I can't remember what the Reddit thread was about, but somebody commented about thrips. They basically described exactly what I saw on my plant, this plant, and the bonsai that I had. And I knew it was thrip right away, which is so scary. Super, super hard to get rid of, in my experience. So this plant has been quarantined for like a month and a half now. And I've sprayed it down with that little insecticidal soap mixture quite a few times, like completely drenched it and let it just sit. The only thing is, is I forgot to water it a few times, maybe like two or three times, so it got pretty dried out. So that could have definitely contributed to the leaf loss. So I think she's definitely ready to be wiped off and put back into her spot. I'm just gonna clean her off and take all of these sheets off right here. This is what it looks like now inside. All those brown sheets are gone. Now I'm just taking my insecticidal soap wipes and wiping down the leaves. And I'm mostly wearing gloves because these wipes smell like ass. And I don't want my fingers to smell like ass, so. she's looking like now nice and shiny not too bad I'm gonna put her back in her little spot like I said hopefully she's thrip free I don't see any right now I don't think I'm just gonna hope for the best and 
move on but like i said i did forget to water this quite a few days but the roots seem to be doing good still maybe she needs a repot should we repot her soon i think we should repot her soon like what is that that's like a bunch of roots i think those are probably like old soil roots that will probably fall off when i take this out the pot I'm gonna put her back in her little spot where she goes and close these wipes because they really smell so terrible. My heart leaf philodendron's putting out several leaves right now. If you can see all the red ones, there's one right there. There's one down there. So I'm glad that's settled with because honestly, I've been thinking about getting that calathea back together for the past week now. So she's done. And I know several plants need some water, but before I make my plant water, I wanted to show you something strange on my Maranta. This Maranta stalk had grown separately from the original plant that I have, and the leaves were so much nicer that I chopped it off of the original plant and I potted it up on its own. And it is one stalk, like there's only one plant in here. But what I find so crazy is that there are two leaves coming out right now. We have one coming out right here and down here. And it's just one stalk, which is so crazy. How are two leaves putting out leaves at the same time? I thought that one leaf came out of the other, then came out of the other, like it always has been. But there's a leaf growing out of a leaf here and a leaf growing out of a leaf here. And I'm amazed. So I can't stop looking at this because I've never seen a Maranta do that before, but I also haven't had Maranta in my collection for that long. So it's probably normal, but I'm fascinated. Does she need water? Maybe a drizzle. And how I can tell is, this one has a hole in it, this jar. I'm not sure if you can see how wet it is, but the water's kind of like down here and the hole is right here. So it could use a little bit of water before it starts browning. But I thought that was so cool. Let me know if you're a Maranta, if you have like one stalk like that, that grows that's growing two leaves. Like how freaking cool. I love this plant. And I remember I used to have the other one staked up and everyone's like, why do you have it staked up? This is why. Like it usually just snaps off and then I have to reroute the whole thing all over again. But I'm gonna let this one hang. Don't you worry. Okay, plant water. So I'm gonna go make some plant water and what I'm gonna use are my little fertilizers and my little bottles. We have some Dynagrill, this CalMag. The label kind of rubbed off because I just used a pen. And then, what is it? Some Super Thrive. So I kind of mix all three of these together. I really don't measure it. I just put like a couple drops into my pitcher of water, which I don't know if that's a gallon or not. But I just put a couple drops of each of these into my mixture. Maybe if I actually measured it correctly, my plants would grow better. But I'm only one person. I can only do so much. I haven't had an issue just dropping a few drops of this into my little pitcher of water. So I'm going to do that like I always do. I'm also going to be making a little spray bottle of Clone X gel for my propagations. That's what I've been doing to try to root them, especially my Hoya Serpens, which I'll update you guys on. But let's make this water. So you guys know this is what I use to water. For my propagations, I take this Clone X gel and I take a spray bottle, probably a little bit more than that, honestly. Boop. And then I just fill it up with water. It does get bubbles, so I wait for those to go down. Then just top it off. And this is the water I use for propagations. And then for this water, I take some Dynagrill. I don't put all of this in here, just like one, two, three drops. That might not even be enough. You guys tell me. Then I take, what is this? CalMag. I have to redo these labels because the CalMag and the Super Thrive, oop, the CalMag and the Super Thrive are kind of similar looking. I think this one's a little more milky though. This is a little more Jack Daniels. Drop, drop. And then Super Thrive, AKA corn chips. Drop, 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 drop. That's better. Yeah. 
This Monstera right here, this is the one I'm always talking about because I haven't potted it, well, I haven't repotted it in months. So I know it's due to be repotted because it is a Monstera Deliciosa. I don't know if you guys remember, but this is my ugly mammy eye. She's kind of cute now, but she has a lot of algae. I don't really think she needs water. I'll leave her alone as well. If you're wondering what's in this bag, I actually moved my Alocasia Jacqueline Corms in here. And they haven't done much. I think that they, I think they actually dried out when I had them in Orbeez. But we'll see. This Monstera Alba is my biggest drinker. Look at her cute variegated leaf. How gorgeous. But I don't know if the next one's gonna be variegated. She's already putting one out right there. And let's see if we can see the moss pole. Look at that root. Oh my God. I think there's more though. There's a root growing off that aerial root. And there's roots down there too, like at the bottom of the moss pole. Actually going into the pot. This thing is crazy. And then we have an aerial root that's making its way. I'm gonna have to extend this moss pole. Does she need water though? That's what we're actually checking for. Yes, because she always, can you see the reservoir? It looks so dry. I swear I have to water this plant like every day. I'm not even exaggerating. And when I do, I just pour a little dribblet into the moss pole first. And then I'll just, oops, until it feels the weight I like. I also have my mammy eye here too, my mother mammy eye. I think I'm gonna propagate this soon. I think she needs a little water. Yeah, she definitely needs water. Look at the little roots on the side of the walls of the pot. How awesome. Super excited, but I realized, I think I told you guys that I have to put a lot more water in these pots to keep kind of a reservoir for the plant or it gets a little bit too dry. So that's what I've been doing with my mame mammy eye. This was the last leaf that came out, and this leaf has been like this for like a week. <clears throat> and I know it's because she needs a lot more humidity, but there's no room in the greenhouse. There's none. These are my Hoya Serpents. I posted a reel of me propagating this plant. I still have all of the ones that I propagated, including the little one too. And I've actually been keeping up with these ones because I really don't want this plant to die. I'm gonna crook it. But the reason I had propagated this plant is because every stem, like the stems going into the pot, they were completely dried out and the leaves were just drying out and dying by the Hair. So I had to propagate that plant because it was literally gonna die anyway and there's really nothing I can do about it I don't think I have any that have yellowed yet Honestly, I'm so grateful that none of these have yellowed because I am not good at propagating Hoya serpent I don't even think I ever propagated Hoya serpents and sphagnum moss. I use the long fiber sphagnum moss These are not rooted yet at all But what I've been doing with them, I've just been spraying them like this every day Because they do get kind of dry and then if the sun is out, I'll close them and stick them in the windowsill so it gets really humid and hot in there. Hopefully they root up soon, but today literally just started blizzarding outside. Spray bottle, where are you? Found you. I was just looking for a root and I see them. How exciting to have another Monstera Adansonii growing like this, yay. I moved my little jellyfish air plants onto my shelf. I hung them from the shelf because these strings were looking too messy hanging from my window. Anyways, let's check the Peru. Oh my gosh, I think I already checked my Peru earlier, but he's doing quite well. I mean, he has a little bit of crust on his leaves, but 
He is doing quite all right. I'm so happy that I have this plant, honestly. Like, look at the texture. It doesn't get better than that. But I don't think he needs water. I kind of wait until he's dry, dry. And the water reservoir, I love these pots, but the water, you can, I'm not sure if you can see, but I can see that it's like right there, so. Checking on my Monstera we potted up last week. Those freaking roots, do you guys see those right there? That isn't, let me just give her a little bit of a drink. Remember that little pothos we potted up? Look at the roots on this guy. So freaking cool. I cannot wait to propagate my other pothos. That should be coming up soon. But this is so cute, oh my gosh. I'm just sick of looking at dusty leaves on my pothos. Honestly, after I repotted my two pothos that I have, they look a little ashy. So we might be propagating those wicked soon. I don't want to... Finally sitting down because I wanted to give you an alocasia Jacqueline update. Look at her new leaf, guys. What is going on? I had to cut the sheath off so it can actually come out, but then when it came out, it did this. So all of the roots are rooting, and they're rooting well. Like I would be concerned if I saw brown roots, but it's actually rooting. And there's little growth points like right there. And there's another one somewhere else. So there are growth points, but, and this leaf is still going strong. It hasn't died yet. I cut off the other one just because it was getting yellow and I didn't want to look at it anymore. We need to figure this out. Who has alocasia and whose alocasia are doing well? Please send me all your care tips, please. I can't figure out what's going on with this girl for the life of me. And it looks like there was another leaf. Like if you look close, it looks like another little bump there. And this whole little thing is going to die. And we can't have that. Right now her reservoir is like up to here. I let it go all the way down so she was consuming the water. She was drinking it, I wasn't sitting in the pot stagnant. What am I doing wrong? Thank you very much in advance. I just wanted to check if any plants in here needed water. Super weird lighting, but it's really dark today because again, the blizzard. I had no idea that it was gonna snow today. So my El Chaco Red, she's one of my biggest drinkers. Oh my God, she needs water, like always. Like the Monstera Albo, I start off in the moss pole because there's a lot of roots in there. If you want to take a quick... I don't know how well... I think you can see them. I, I can see them, yeah. Look at those roots. Absolutely insane. So this plant is a heavy drinker currently. And putting out gigantic leaves. I, oh my gosh. This has like no water. Oh no. I ended up making the moss pole that I was telling you guys about with the plastic front and then the, I forgot what this stuff is called, this black stuff. What is this called? Gutter guard. The gutter guard back and I really like how it came out, although this is not staked up on it properly. But look at my new leaf that's coming out. I don't think she needs water though, let's check. You know what, with these self-watering pots, I just give it a little bit of water anyway. Look at how gross the old pictures look. But look at the new one that's coming in. It looks so cool. And then I have another new one on this side coming in. Why does it look blackened a little bit? Hold on, let me touch it. Oh my God, it looks like it's dying. That's sad. Hopefully we still get this one here because I'll be very happy. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe she needs some water. I'll have to investigate. I think that's all I need to water today. So I am gonna end this video here. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until my next video, bye guys.